Hello everyone and happy Halloween month. So for this tutorial, I'll be turning myself into Sabrina Spellman, aka the Dark Lord Sword from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And if you have no idea what that is, I highly suggest watching that on Netflix if you like some cute spook and demonic justice. <laughs> So for hair, I got this wig from Starlight Hair. It's their 12 inch weight, weight, white lace front, but I cut it a little shorter to make it more of a Sabrina haircut, but I accidentally cut too much, but it still does the job. Then I created an off-centered part in the wig and plucked it to make the part look more pronounced and natural-ish. As natural as it could be. And all I needed was the headband to complete this do, but when I pulled the hair back, it lifted the sides of the wig, so I ended up having to glue down the edges, as one does when they want to go out in a lace front, but I was just being lazy for this tutorial. And since my hairline is weird and sticks out a lot, I decided to glue it down with a glue stick, and that will also help protect my hair from the spirit gum. And don't worry, it washes out fine. While that's drying, I'm just going ahead and applying my primer on, and I'm using Touch and Soul No Poor Poor Blim <laughs> Primer. Uh, we love a multitasking queen. And then I went ahead and applied some spirit gum from Miron and waited for it to get tacky before I pressed down the edges of my wig. And be patient with spirit gum. Sometimes it takes a while to get tacky. For foundation, I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation in Light 45 Neutral, which is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. And then I'm using Smashbox Foundation Brush to apply that. And then for some highlight, I'm using Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Concealer in 20 and blending that out with the same brush. Also, the hairline of this wig is a bit noticeable. And I can't tell if it's just the type of lace they use or if it's just I needed to add more foundation to the hairline to help blend it in. But anywho, nothing good old Photoshop can't fix. If only that could, I could apply that in real life. Then I'm just setting my face with Huda Beauty setting powder mainly on the highlights because the Kat Von D Locket foundation is super matte and doesn't really need to be set. And then I'm buffing out the excess powder. With my Smith 112 brush, I'm contouring my face with Max Sculpting Powder in Soft Taupe. With a light hand. And then with a slender tapered blending brush, I'm contouring my nose with the same powder. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Brown Sugar and Dark Drapes. And with the ink stain side, I'm flicking the brush upward to create a brow hair effect to emulate fluffy, thick brows just like the fabulous ones Karen and Shipka has in real life. Lucky her. Am I right? For blush, I'm using ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Cheese in Bold, and with my Smith 118 brush, I'm buffing that into the apples of my cheeks. Tried really hard to hold back because I really love blush, and Sabrina has more of a natural flush cheek, so I kept it pretty light. Well, light for me. And uh, just a little on the nose, don't tell anyone. Now with my Natasha Denona Safari palette, I'll be taking Aya with my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and buffing that all over my lid and blending that out to the brow bone 
I don't have primer on, but I have a bit of foundation on my lids, so I'm just using that as primer. From the same palette, I'm taking Tamarin, and with the same brush, I'm buffing that into the outer corner and blending that into my crease and dragging the excess to my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking Shea on a pencil brush and smoking out my lash line. And then with an angled brush, I'm darkening my lash line with a black eyeshadow. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And then with a wet pencil brush, I dipped into a highlight shade. I think I'm using the lightest shade from the Huda Beauty highlight palette and placing that uh, pigment in my inner corner area. And then for mascara, I'm using Benefits Roller Lash on both my top and bottom lashes. For lips, I'm using an Ofra liquid lipstick in Havana Nights to give that good, deep, dark, bloody red look. I was going to go thinner on the lips because um, I know she has a, a thinner upper lip, but then I eventually just went with my natural lip, lip line because I kept making mistakes and just correcting them and then the lip got bigger and bigger. So, you know, I just kept doing that. So that is it for the natural Sabrina eye look, but to amp it up some more, I'm lining my water water nine, water line with Benefits Roller Eye Bright Pencil to open up my eyes a bit, and then popped on some latch latches. Wow, lashes, they're called lashes, uh, which are our Dell Demi Wispies for a natural but amped up lash look. So that's the simple everyday Sabrina. All you need to do is put on a lace collared blouse or dress. I didn't have time to create a lace collar so I just grabbed my beaded one and called it a night. And so now for the badass Sabrina look. This look just needs a bit of crafting to add on to the look. Uh, so I grabbed this Twiggy wreath from Hobby Lobby and pretty much de deconstructed it. Uh, took by twig and created a shape that would fit around my head then wrapped it up with some brown string so it wouldn't pop back into shape then twig after twig I weaved it in and out of the crown and then tied it down with more brown string until I started to like how it looked now the scene where Sabrina gets killed by the angels uh, was dark, so I couldn't really tell if her crown was gold or not, but I decided to go the natural route, and also because I didn't have any gold paint. <laughs> Next for the arrows, I used a wooden dowel, cut it in half, and then sanded the edges. And then for the feathers, I used shrink paper, so that meant I had to triple up the size of the shape. I draw out because it will shrink smaller into a thicker piece of plastic. Once I had my shape, I traced it onto some cardstock so I could have a template if the shape comes out the size I want when I shrink it. So I did a tester and ended up being way smaller than I wanted. So I adjusted the size and did the same thing again. And then the tester came out okay. All I did was just adjust the shape a little bit and all was good to go. Once the shapes were done, I painted them black and added some white highlight stripes. For the tips of the arrows, I used some Fimo clay and rolled out two cone shapes. 
and two flat circles so they can rest on top of each other. Then I glued, I hot glued those pieces onto the tip of the dowel. Then I covered the clay pieces with this glaze uh, because that's all I have and I suggest using more of a tackier glue. And then I brushed on some gold leaf. Another alternative easy route is to paint them gold, but I just didn't have any. So I went the hard way. And after that, I hot glued the feather pieces and then added a line to the tip of the arrow with a Sharpie. Then with some hot glue, I pumped a couple globs onto a piece of parchment paper, then set the other back of the wooden dowel into it. And I waited for it to set. And once it's set, I added more around the dowel to kind of make a beehive kind of shape. I wanted to use a suction cup for this, but um, this worked out too. So for the lip, I added Inkovalation's liquid lipstick in maraschino, and it just made it more of a brighter red, just like in the scene. Then on the silky red shirt I thrifted, um, I added a few holes to where I wanted to place the arrows. And don't cut the hole any bigger than you have to. Then I added some spirit gum to stick them to my chest. Should have waited for it to get tacky, but I was impatient, so I just ended up taping it to my chest. And then I added some blood. Placed my branchy thorny crown, and then added some red drum orange, red drying blood to my forehead. That was really hard to say. I used a brush handle to apply it lightly to the, to my forehead, and just naturally guided the blood with the handle. And this stuff's pretty thick, so you kind of want to use a light hand when you're doing this. Just barely touch the wand or whatever you're using to apply the blood onto your skin and let it naturally flow down. Then I put in my gritting white contacts from TTDI last because these are basically like looking through a sheet. And now this is the Dark Lord Sword, AKA Dark Sabrina Spellman. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.